I'm Juan Manuel. Uh, I'm from Haifa, Mexico. I'm responsible uh, in the technical area for Mexico and Central America. And today I'm going to talk about recirculation systems. Uh, I will try to tell what parameters uh, are very important to consider in this kind of systems. And what is the content uh, today that we will review, manage the drainage, uh, measure and control the nutrition parameters, choice the fertilizers, be creative with the fertilizers that are available in the market, and search for good quality of fertilizers. It's very important in, in, in these in this recirculations. Manage the drainage. Okay, uh, we know uh, the water is a limited resource. Uh, Janus, in his presentation before, show us uh, a couple of pictures of uh, less water. We have less water in, in around the world and less quality is, uh, in the water. Uh, it's for that now uh, it, this kind of uh, system recirculation is becomes more and more used. We have now the experience with the advanced countries like Netherlands that we, uh, we can have a, a safe, a lot of water and nutrients, around 60%. But what is important, or oh, what is the point there? Okay. For a successful uh, recirculation, it's necessary to consider some parameters. Manage the pH in different points. We have in this systems, recirculation, closed systems, we have water and nutrients everywhere. We need to manage pH in different points. And always good to or search to very uh, disinfection equipment uh, quality, uh, qualified uh, disinfection systems. We see the difference, we see before the difference, uh, some disinfection system in the, in the presentation. Uh, before, and we s saw the character difference in the characteristics. Uh, in this scheme, we can see, oh sorry, we have water and nutrients everywhere. We have in our containers, fresh water, containers of drained water, we have the, our mixing tanks, the, st the stock solution tanks, when we mix our nutrients, fresh water, drain water, uh, we inject in our system. Uh, we have different points, here, 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 and we, uh, we can have different levels of pH of EC in these points. Always uh, it's very important monitoring in inputs, yeah. in outputs, another scheme like this, for example, we have our source of water, or soft, like we saw before. We give a treatment with uh, some disinfection. We have, we check the pH, we check the EC, and we disinfect this water. This water goes through to the our system and then we obtain our drain water. This drain water again is necessary to give a post treatment to eliminate like we see again uh, we saw uh, eliminate bacteria, virus but in some of uh, in some cases when we treat we, we uh, treatment the water, some parameters drops because use, for example, if we use ultraviolet UV, also we use some acid. This acid is for cleaning the lamps or cleaning filters in, in this 
in this system of disinfection system. And this provoke that these parameters, pH, bicarbonates, drops. The pH drops, we uh, can eliminate bicarbonates, and then this drain water introduced again in our <coughs> mixing tanks, and we have problems to control the pH, for example, because we don't have any more buffer in the water, and it's, it's complicated to, to manage the pH again in, in our uh, mixing tanks. The, sol the solution here, for example, in this kind of problem when the, drop, the pH drops, uh, eliminate bicarbonate, is to use potassium hydroxide and potassium bicarbonate to increase uh, uh, the pH and to give some buffer uh, in the water to maintain, I don't know, between levels uh, 0 0.5 or, uh, to 1 millimoles or milli equivalents to give some, some buffer to the water. Another aspect very important to, to consider is be creative with the fertilizers. Here um, I have a couple examples uh, from different recipes. For, uh, the intention here is show, for example, uh, what is the best combination? Depends. Depends if the product is available, depends the prices of the product. But, for example, between two recipes, in the recipe one, we have ammonium nitrate and MKP, and recipe two, MMP and potassium nitrate. In both recipe, uh, we can have the same requirements, one millimoles of nitrogen or phosphorus on potassium. If, if this requirement transform to ppms or grams per meter uh, cubic or milligrams per liter, we can see we need to use the same quantity, the same amount of the products. And this can represent some, uh, uh, we can save some money if we choose the best combination. Maybe we don't need it to, to do a complicated blend or mix uh, between a lot of products, maybe with two products or three products, I have the, requirement, the requirements that I needed. And the quantity, look, is the same. Milligrams per liter, milligrams per liter. So this represent, well, now I think more than, <laughs> uh, more, Important in current days, I think, is the available fertilizer more than the prices. But, but if we have an stable market, is this point is very very important to choose the be the best combination. So, two partial conclusion here is wise choice of fertilizers can save money, and always keep it simple. As we saw with two products, we can have the same requirement that uh, uh, four products. Measure and control nutrition parameters. Okay, we saw in different presentation this picture, PH, the picture Dimitri talked yesterday about the importance of the pH to maintain the pH to the levels uh, 5.52. 6.5 uh, because out of this range the availability of the some nutrients starts dropping. So in this uh, system maintain the pH for example in drains or slabs the pH the high pH is very easily and reduce essential nutrients for example what happened? Low availability of phosphorus, of course, iron and manganese. And what we do when we have low availability? Higher application rates. But if we apply more applica rates, application rates, we can provoke block drippers. 
and also, uh, of course, represent more, more uh, cost of production. Also, when this happens, block drippers, it's necessary to flush or, or clean pipes. This, again, represents uh, more, more cost. What is the solution? Some solution is application, ammonium application to acidify this root soon, to maintain the root soon between this level of pH, 5.5, 6.5. But also the use of polyphosphates. Uh, a brief summary here, for example, control and manage pH in the fresh water. Check always the drippers frequently. Use polyphosphate to prevent mineral reaction or precipitates. And maximum uptake of nutrients. How it works, the polyphosphate. The polyphosphates, uh, well, the phosphates, we can find the phosphates uh, in two forms, orthophosphates and polyphosphates. The orthophosphates is like the element free, orthophosphate. And here, we, in this form, for example, in MKP and MAP, phosphoric acid, for example, is easier to react with calcium and magnesium in the soil solution and low the availability for three elements, phosphorus, but also calcium, but also magnesium. The solution is to use polyphosphate. It's, a, it's an alternative, a good alternative because this is, imagine it's, la, uh, it's like a chain of orthophosphate and it's a uh, kind of gradual release. This release is happening very, very near in, in the roots. And avoid this react between calcium and magnesium. Release phosphorus and it's uh, available to uptake to the plant. So with polyphosphate, we have more availability of phosphorus with a range of pH level and Keep our irrigation system keeps of, of pres keep clean of precipitates. Sorry. The water content and the EC, of course, is important to consider in this kind of uh, system. One strategy to maintain the level, for example, in EC, we know uh, uh, some crops, or the, every crop is tolerant to certain uh, salinity or to, or to cer certain EC. What happened, for example, in the green line, we have the water content and the black line, the EC, electric conductivity. When the EC uh, going up, what we do? Give more water. And then the EC going goes down. To maintain, the, it is very important, if we want to maintain in the same level the EC, we, know to, uh, it, it, we must to know how many water is necessary to give. Some strategies, for example, used in some places are the use of scales, how many water uh, we are giving, in what time, during the day, and this water, maybe with this water, indicates if the EC is in the level that we want, for example, is measure the quantity of the water in our system. So until here, we know the measure give us knowledge. If, if we have knowledge, we can save money in our production. We can save water, we can save nutrients, of course, uh, money. Another aspect important in recirculation system is the sodium. Janus, in his presentation, talks a lot, very, very good presentation about, about sodium. But where is sodium coming from? Growing medium, irrigation water, 
but also in fertilizers. Uh, but to avoid sodium, it's necessary to, to use a good, a good source of water. Make sure that the quality of gradient media is good. We saw before with the presentation of the, of the main uh, cocoa substrate. Choose the right fertilizer and never compromise on quality. <coughs> Janus mentioned this, this part very, very well. For example, what happened with sodium and other cations like calcium, magnesium, and, pot and potassium. This is a, a competition. If we have more sodium, we need more other elements, essential elements, to win, to win this competition against sodium. So other problem with sodium is that the sodium in the system increase the EC and limit the use of fresh or new fertilizers. Again, I said, uh, uh, like I, sa I said before, every crop has a tolerance of a specific EC. Tomato, for example, 2.5 millisiemens. If we increase the EC because apply more fresh or new fertilizer to win the competition against the sodium, we provoke more EC and we affect the yields of the crops. So there are considerable difference between fertilizers. Now we know, and we talked in the beginning of the, this seminar, uh, we talked about multi-caresi, uh, multi-caresi, near zero sodium is a new, uh, the new potassium nitrate. 90% less sodium in the content. Uh, is the only potassium nitrate uh, we guarantee the content of sodium inside, 300 ppms. We can say water and nutrients use, uh, using a better quality uh, fertilizers. Reduce or we can reduce the needed uh, to flush uh, sodium in our medium, in our growth medium. And of course, we have better quality of recirculation water because we, we don't accumulate sodium in each recirculation. So some conclusions about the presentation is learn about the fertilizers always available in the market. Be sure, be sure that the, you are using high quality fertilizers and quality uh, uh, qualified recirculation systems. A study always the quality of the water that you are using and check the drippers frequently. And of course, uh, consult of uh, always a high-fi expert. <laughs>